Welcome to what some people are calling the quiet apocalypse. Today we're diving into how noise regulations, once seen as a way to improve urban living, are now reshaping and in some cases erasing car culture. And whether you're an auto enthusiast or just love the sound of a roaring engine, this shift could have far reaching effects on the future of automotive development. Voluntary noise, noise that does not have to be there and it assaults your ears at a time when you should be getting the rest your body desperately needs after a long day as a New Yorker, then we have to step up and do something. So the heart of the issue lies in the growing number of noise restrictions imposed on new vehicles. These new laws aren't just impacting how cars are being built, but they're also targeting car enthusiasts, their hobbies, and even the aftermarket part industry. From aftermarket parts being banned to car brands completely toning down the exhaust notes, these regulations are changing what it means to be a car lover. Also, what does this even mean for people who already have cars that are bone stock but might not pass the sound test? Are they going to be forced to keep their cars out of certain zones? Something about this just doesn't seem 100% right to me. There's something so awesome about being able to come home to some peace and quiet. I mean, I don't know about you, but the last thing that I'd want is to have to listen to a bunch of Honda Civics buzzing around. On top of that, the cost of living is more than doubled in most cities. And I'm sure that you'd agree that spending your hard-earned money to live in a non-peaceful place is not the favorable option. Let's break it down. In Paris, for example, new sound cameras are designed to automatically find vehicles that exceed noise limits. And similar technology is being deployed in New York City, London, and other heavily populated cities. And make no mistake, these regulations aren't just hidden modded cars. Manufacturers are being forced to comply with many high-performance brands like Ferrari and Lamborghini, making quieter, less visceral vehicles. So for enthusiasts, the days of customizing your car with the loudest exhaust possible might just be coming to an end. What's up, man? Man, another crazy story. This guy, Anthony Aquilino, was fined almost $1,000 for his bone stock Huracan being way too loud. Now his car is a target for local authorities, meaning he'll either have to return the vehicle to Lamborghini in hopes that it can be silenced, or face extremely harsh penalties with the maximum fine in New York State totaling up to $2,700. Imagine being forced to silence the very thing that connects you to your passion. So is a ban the necessary answer? Noise regulations are crucial for maintaining peaceful environments, but they also threaten to erase an important part of our automotive of heritage. Maybe the way to balance both sides is to implement a noise schedule rather than a full-blown bin. Hit that like and subscribe. Watch a few more videos while you're at it, but remember, shh, keep it down.